We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Hedgesville Eagles, Matt Faircloth. Coach Faircloth, your team loses last week by a final score of 28 nothing to the Jefferson Cougars. Let's just talk about that game, give us a recap, and what your takeaways were. Uh, I mean, first half, uh, we gave up two big third down conversions and a fourth down conversion that allowed them to, you know, keep the ball and eventually go down and score. Um, you know, defensively, we went in at halftime, made some adjustments, and, and didn't give up an offensive touchdown in the second half. So for us, you know, everything was there that we wanted uh, defensively. I thought we we played well against their team speed, uh, played discipline. Uh, the biggest thing was we couldn't get the ball moving offensively, uh, and that's why we're, this week we're making quite a few changes. Coach, I saw on uh, Twitter that Aiden Fleming had 26 tackles in the game. Um, I believe that's a school record for you guys. Just what has he brought to your team this year? And uh, talk about his performance on Friday. I mean, Aiden's been doing it all year. Uh, you know, yeah, he, did, he had 26 tackles uh, Friday night. He was flying all around the field. Um, you know, and the thing with Aiden, Aiden's a competitor. Uh, you know, he wants to go out and compete against the best and you know, he's brought a mentality uh, to us that, you know, we're, we're happy to have him around. We're not not just one because he's a good football player, but because, you know, he, he's a really, really good kid and uh, he likes to compete even at practice. And for him, I mean, he's having a monster year right now, uh, you know, through six games. And I think this is the most uh, tackles I've ever had by a single player. Any chance you know if it's a state record or if it's just a school record? Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't even looked at uh, what a state record uh, is in that category. But, you know, what I've seen Friday night was something that, you know, in my 12 years, I, I haven't seen. Okay, I just wasn't sure. I was trying to look and was unable to find it as well. But I want to go back to something that you kind of touched on earlier, and that was some changes that will be made on the offensive end. Care to go into details? Uh, I mean, the biggest thing is we got to go find – you know, 11 competitors that want to play offense. And, you know, even when a team's faster than you and they're taking certain stuff away from you, you got to be able to, you got to be able to want to compete for it. And, you know, we had some things that we, we like matchup wise and this, that, and the other, but, you know, not getting the ball out on time, uh, not picking up key blocks on blitzes, not blocking in the screen game. It's, it's all those things that we're going to make adjustments on. We're going to find 11 competitors. Coach Liberty this week, uh, team that comes in out of maryland uh what have you seen from them so far this year they love to throw the ball um you know i i see them you know as a they're a disciplined team they're well coached uh they do what they do well and you know they they got good size up front they got a couple guys that can really run and the quarterback can sling it big kid um it's going to be a matchup that uh you know one we got to go out and get if we want to continue to give ourselves a chance at the playoffs down the road and uh, defensively, they're multiple. They bring a lot of pressure. Uh, they like man to man. They like some uh, some some cloud defense where they drop the corners. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's another opportunity to go out and compete against a good team. Coach, when we've talked with you the past few weeks, injuries has been a key issue for your team. Uh, one of the main players last week, that being Martin, being injured. What's his update, and then any update on anybody else? Uh, I mean. Demonte, you know we're gonna we're gonna take his his health uh, into the main priority and make sure that he is 100 percent before he ever steps foot back on the football field here. Um, two, uh, you know Jake uh, Jake started the game uh, Friday night and first series on defense uh, went down shoulder injury. Uh, you know Jake's a competitor. Jake wants to play, but at the end of the day, we're gonna take a look and see how he feels on Thursday to go from there. Zakai Bryant. Uh, tried to play Friday night, couldn't make it through it. Um, you know, we got we're banged up, but at the end of the day, it's next man up. Coach, you guys are three and three right now, sitting at 18 in the latest uh, playoff rankings. I guess a little bit over halfway through the season. What's your thoughts on where your team's at right now, and how do you get guys into the playoffs? I mean, the biggest thing about it is, you know, we knew coming into the season we had to replace some some key guys on that offensive line that we lost and. You know, we're still trying to find those guys. Uh, you know, right now we're down to our third or fourth guy at each position that we had to replace. We're trying to find that mix. And, 
for us, you know, where we're at now is not where we want to be, nor was it where we saw ourselves being. But at the end of the day, we're three and three. We got an opportunity to go out and get above 500 this week and set ourselves up down the road to where, you know, we got to play Mossman, Martinsburg, and Spring Mills to end the season. Coach, we also touched on it last week. This week's game, homecoming for you guys, however, due to Moomaw Field not being usable. Homecoming will be at Jefferson for you guys, at least for the game. How different will that be? I mean, it's way different for our kids. Uh, you know, these kids, these seniors, will never get another opportunity to play at home. And, you know, it, it's affected them um, just in the, in, in the aspect of, you know, when even when you play at Jefferson, you play at Martinsburg, you play at Muslim. You know, you don't get that that travel base like you do when you play at home, and you know it's 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 affecting them, today, and that's for sure. And but at the end of the day, they also know the end goal is we got to give us all, give ourselves a chance to get in the playoffs. So you know they're sucking it up, and and, and we're moving on. And also a follow up with that, the other games that are going to be played at Shepherd has that been approved by the WVSSAC? We heard that was awaiting approval. <laughs> Yeah, there's 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 some stuff that's going on there that you know our administration's you know working the details out on finalizing all that, but you know they're they're trying to keep me out of a lot of that because you know they want us to focus on coaching kids and, and making sure the kids are locked in for the next game. And, but as of right now, you know I can't give you an update on that. I I'm staying out of that stuff. Understand, coach. Uh, final question: What's your team need to do to get the win against Liberty then? I think we got to go out and compete defensively like we did in the second half against Jefferson and we got to go out and we got to move the ball. We got to go score points. We have we have a, too many weapons uh to not score any points and for us, you know, we got to go out and move the ball, score points, put pressure on them to have to score on us and and just compete just compete. That's the biggest thing is keep competing and keep giving yourself a chance. Coach uh when we asked Coach Thomas any final thoughts, he told us about his fantasy baseball team. So I guess now we're changing our final question to just like anything you want to get off your chest. Anything anything going on right now in your life? No, I'm 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 square, I'm square, so everything's good, you know. At the end of the day, you get to I get to wake up, I get to come here, coach coach these kids and you know, that's 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 all I wanna do right now. All right, Coach Faircloth, as always, appreciate the time and good luck this week. All right, I appreciate it.